Good evening. Tonight, a Carmel Valley man sentenced for a DUI crash that left a Salinas mother dead three years ago. 21-year-old Jacques Clark was 18 years old at the time of that crash. On December 21st of 2019, Clark and another teenager were speeding along Davis Road in West Acacia. Clark's car rear-ended Rosie Figueroa's, who was driving her mother to a doctor's appointment that night. The force of the impact causing the victim's car to spin out, hit a tree, and then overturn, killing Figueroa and severely injuring her mother. Clark went through a sobriety test at the scene that night. And here's why we say Clark's car, who was actually behind the wheel that night, is still unclear. Initial charges against Clark were dismissed because both prosecutors and the CHP could not determine who the driver was. The DA's office brought charges forward again, and this time finding Clark failed to render aid. The sentence, one year in county jail and two years probation. As for the victim's family, they were protesting outside the courthouse earlier today. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here tonight for KION News at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. A judge again handing down that sentence in this deadly DUI crash. Clark serving at least one year behind bars and two years probation. So what about Rosie's family? They were outside the courthouse, and KION's Carl Cook reports for us tonight. Now, Figueroa's family tell me this isn't what they wanted, but they at least to get some kind of justice. So I said, well, I'll take anything over nothing. The family of Rosie Figueroa stood outside the court before hearing the sentencing of Jock Clark. Today would have been a little more uplifting for Rosie's mother if only the charges were different. First, I was totally excited, but then when I found out that the sentencing was only related to the charge, and the charge was... Um, because he didn't call 911 or render any help. I mean, that's it. Even with the charge not being what they wanted, they still witnessed Clark sentenced to at least one year in county jail. The assistant district attorney refused to let Clark get away with nothing. So our goal was to build a case that was true and that had proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And in this case, because of how this started off, it took a long time. The Figueroa family even seen support from another person involved in the crash. Investigators say Tyrone Moore was also in the car that hit Figueroa's. Kenya Cox is his cousin. Tyrone died in a car accident. Tyrone was also involved in this car accident. So the, the way that that happened is crazy, but justice is served. This is it. Got to remain optimistic. He's going to go to jail. And we'll see what happens. We'll continue doing our family traditions. We go to the lake in the summer. We do um, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas together. And we'll continue to do that in memory of Rosie too. Now I also reached out to the CHP office to get some more information on the investigation and the officer involved in the investigation. They didn't tell me anything but to reach out to the DA's office. Reporting from Salinas, I'm Carl Cook, KION News Channel 46. Rosie left behind a young daughter. The other person in Clark's car that night Tyrone Moore Jr. You heard from the cousin earlier today and Monterey County DA's office confirming that Moore did die earlier this year after, ironically, a hit and run crash in Nevada.